Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Holy Comforter Episcopal Church YouTube Bible Study. I'm the Reverend Jimmy Abbott, the priest at Holy Comforter Episcopal Church, and I have some thoughts and questions for you about the gospel lesson for this upcoming Sunday, which is taken from the 11th chapter of the Gospel of John. Now, I have not posted the past couple of weeks. I apologize for that and all of the um, upheaval with the order to stay at home because of this COVID-19 outbreak, I um, have been remiss and I have not posted, though you will see on our YouTube channel, there have been there has been a lot of other content out there. So I hope that you have been able to, to still connect and grow and worship with us at Holy Comforter through our U YouTube channel. As I said, the gospel lesson for this upcoming Sunday is taken from the 11th chapter of the Gospel of John. This is Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. It is the seventh sign in the Gospel of John. Remember, there are uh, seven signs. So some, some would say th this is the seventh sign. We can actually get a little technical about this. Or is it the sixth sign? And actually, the, the um, uh, resurrection, crucifixion and resurrection is the, is the seventh sign. Regardless, let us press on. Now, uh, so Jesus hears that his friend Lazarus has died. Uh, he does not go immediately to the house. Um, he, he lingers uh, for a little bit. Remember, he's a, there's some tension that Jesus has stirred up, some controversy. And, he, and the disciples are worried that if he goes back to Judea right now, that he will be stoned. One of my favorite lines in all of the Gospels is chapter 11, verse 16. Thomas, who is called the twin, said to his fellow disciples, let us also go that we may die with him. Of course, there's irony and foreshadowing here because when it does actually come time for the disciples to die with him, at least in this moment, they all flee. They flee from the cross. But we will see, um, of course, according to later Christian tradition, that the disciples do indeed die for the Lord Jesus. I think this represents a moment of decision, a moment of crisis, an inflection point in which the disciples have to decide what to do. Are they going to follow Jesus into the teeth of danger or will they um, remain away? Now, this next part, when Jesus then encounters both Martha and Mary, the sisters of Lazarus, uh, these are classic, classic Lessons uh, for funerals in the Episcopal Church. We, we hear this, uh, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And we hear Jesus saying, I'm the resurrection and the life. Um, really powerful, powerful stuff. I want to continue on to verse 38. We get there. Uh, I'll read it. Then Jesus, again, greatly disturbed, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone was lying against it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, already there is a stench, because he has been dead four days. I mean, you know, uh, in the King James Version, it's, But Lord, by this time he doth stinketh, which I always found humorous. Not only is there a concern about the odor of the dead Lazarus, but in, in Jewish tradition at the time, the soul left the body after three days. So this is also telling us that Lazarus is dead, D-E-D, -E -D, deader than dead, not, not alive in the least, dead. And yet that is exactly the man that Jesus calls back into life. He yells, Lazarus, come out, the dead man comes out, his hands and feet were bound with strips of cloth, his face wrapped in a cloth, they, they um, un, unbind him and let him go, is what Jesus says. And this, unbind him, let him go, I think is the most important part of this whole lesson. Because the whole project, the whole vocation of Jesus Christ in his earthly ministry is to unbind us. The Holy Spirit is given to us to unbind us, to liberate us from the sins and the power of death that keep us bound, that keep us in our caves. Jesus Christ, through the Holy Spirit, is calling us out of those caves, calling us to take off all of those things that have, have bound us, have, have kept us down, uh, the power of sin that has uh, just uh, strangled us, that Jesus is saying, all of those have fallen off. 
all of the, the shackles that we have put upon ourselves are falling off and you are now free to live, free to live with me in the power of the Holy Spirit. I think that is such a powerful thing because then we are no longer bound to the, the petty laws, the petty differences, the sins that have once ruled our lives. All of those are now thrown away and that we can live in a new way, a free way, in the way of love with our Lord Jesus Christ. So I pray to you during this time when you are at home during this COVID-19 outbreak, that you can still be free, liberated in spirit, freed by the power of the gospel to live not in fear, but in love. I would love to hear from you. By all means, you can leave a comment here. You can email me, jimmy at holycomfortorspring.org. I continue to pray for our entire parish family, this country, and the world during this time. And I pray that all of us, all of us may be unbound. Amen.